Well, hello and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we have left the top of Walker Mountain. If you want to see that part of this mountain, be sure to check out the video before this one. I'll put a link in the description. But anyway, we have left the area that overlooked Hinkle Lake. And although the views were obscured by some of the underbrush, we still did get to see some of the lake. But anyway, uh, now we're headed north, deeper into the Washita National Forest. And this section will end at a dispersed campsite, which at the time we made the video, there was deer camp set up there. So we just pulled in enough that we could turn around and backtrack to a fork in the road and at that fork we're going to end up turning right and going south deeper into the national forest there's a lot of good views on this section and we have some steep drop-offs on the northern side it's beautiful views a lot of pretty trees and we did Across a few dispersed campsites on the way and this was quite a drive it was a really nice drive the terrain wasn't all that bad although some sections were rough there was some climbing and elevation and uh, we really enjoyed uh, this trip through this part of the National Forest we have never been in this section of the National Forest and we were impressed with the views and the campsites that we did find and look forward to coming back to this area and camping at some of these campsites so i hope you all enjoyed the video and like i said it is a lot of driving showing the road conditions and just a little bit of the area so we hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video as we find more dispersed campsites and more views. Thanks for watching. Let's This section is one section of many that make up a overland route that we have been mapping and we have sent into Onyx Off-Road app. This route is live on the app. This route goes through four different areas of the Washita National Forest. The area before this one was coming across Poto Mountain. This section is south of Poto Mountain. We will head south just a little bit more after we leave the dispersed campsite that this section ends at before we start heading back east toward Highway 71. When we reach Highway 71, this route will be complete. If you cross east over 71 from where this route or these sections end, you will see another section of trails that are on the app this makes kind of a big 
oval or maybe a rectangle when you look at it on the map. There are also other trails that we have mapped and are live on the Onyx Off-Road app that you can either add to this route or go explore while you're dispersed camping in the areas by those trails. On the app, there will be a description, pictures, ratings, and more talking about each section of the route. It's a very handy app to have and when you use it in areas like this, be sure to download your maps for offline use. Again, we hope you have the chance to do these sections. Hopefully, you can do the whole route. I promise you won't be disappointed. If you're looking for a lot of off-roading, you're not going to find that on this route. There are some sections that could be a little bit difficult, and you, I would want a little bit of ground clearance and all-wheel drive but most of this route could be done in two-wheel drive so I hope you enjoy what we've shared with you and you can get out there and explore it yourself thanks for following along have a good day
Thank you.